What's going on guys? Today I'm here with the ECX Torment 118 scale. Uh, the reason why I say 118 scale is because there's also a 110th scale. So I brought this out guys because I wanted to use it today. Plus I wanted to show it off. It doesn't really get it didn't really get too much time on the channel. But it's a really good car guys. And the reason why it's a good car is because it cost a hundred dollars so when I went to go buy this it was in the hobby shop for a total of a hundred and I think nine dollars hundred and maybe even less I remember it was really low costing it has a really nice body on it you can see it's pretty basic but it looks really good guys even this this combo they give you here see that combo they give you here this combo right here and even this combo is really good. I mean, it's it's a two-in-one, but it's a good two-in-one. And you got a three-wired servo. So it's pretty good. It's a really decent RC. It's uh, It's got oil shocks. Uh, the only thing when you buy it, it will cost you around maybe 120 because uh, it needs, you need to buy the bearings and the bearings are like eight bucks. So if you, buy this RC make sure you buy the bearings or you you really will be kind of you know in the doghouse if you don't because uh, the bushings go bad fast and uh, the car won't go as fast and when you put these uh, bearings on they're so easy to put and uh, they make a really big difference so this is everything you put your battery in through here really not I like the compartment you see I got a lipo in there it does come with a battery it comes with the nickel metal hydrate uh, 1800 but it's a really good battery I mean it really gets this thing up and going but I brought the lipo instead because we're gonna drive it through the grass I really don't use my RC's too much in the grass because and then I got to change out the motor but uh, I'm gonna use it anyways because the uh, I might change out the motor anyways something a little better but I'm gonna keep it brushed this is not going to be uh, brushless guys it's going to be brush and uh, that's because uh, BLM brush lives matter so let's go ahead and get started guys I'm gonna go ahead and uh, connect this real quick and it's got even a waterproof switch here. See the switch? It's waterproof. And this uh, actual spectrum stuff looks pretty good. There's its transmitter. Just for you to get this transmitter is really good, guys. For 100 bucks, this thing costs almost 100 bucks by itself. So uh, let me go ahead and button this up and we'll get started. Alright, everything's connected up. That uh that servo works a lot better than a five wire servo. A five wire wouldn't even be able to turn in this type of terrain or grass grass I should say. So let me go ahead and uh, change up this, put the hat cam on. Alright. Make sure everything's alright. Okay. So this is just the lipo battery, guys. Whoa, went right through that dirt. It's a really good way to get yourself into hobby grade RCs. The reason why I suggest that you buy a hobby grade RC battery, guys, is because when it breaks, you can go and buy your parts. See, see what happened was, guys, is that I started off with those, uh, you know, those little Amazon specials or, you know, those RCs that are pretty good. They're all right. They're all right. I started off with those. And uh, 
I just ran it right into like a wall or something. So uh, I broke parts and I had a friend who was RCing with me and he broke a part on his RC car. And he had a name brand RC or sh I should say he had a hobby grade RC. He had a hobby grade RC and I had one of those cheap ones. He went to the hobby store and bought some parts and I had to wait two months to get mine. So that's, that's when I said, that's it. I am not buying any more of those kind of cars because the parts take too long and I want to be able to get my parts like the way he did instantly. So I stopped, I stopped buying them. I stopped buying those cars and started buying RC's uh, hobby grade. Little speed test here. And the transmitter's got a lot of, uh, you get a lot on this transmitter, you get a lot. I think there's reverse steering. You you get a lot for a little a little ready to run RC. You get kind of a lot. So you see, it's got some speed. And with those bearings, it makes a huge difference. And it's a real it's a really good car better off road you know guys right now too i'm just gonna film this really quick and then um i'm gonna go to burlington or ross to see if i can find something rc but i'm gonna take you guys in there with me i don't care if they get mad i'll just keep the camera low you know So you guys see it works really good really good car look at that man this thing drives great i forgot how good this thing drives those oil shocks are really good really good shocks they're they're plastic but they're good though the whole rc is absolutely great guys and that's because it's cheap a hundred bucks for a tournament for a 118 scale tournament that looks this good and has a decent transmitter with a lot of uh, specs on it you know enough not a whole bunch but more than what you get with those other ready to run RC's I even suggest the one tenth scale torment. It's the one tenth scale torment is really almost one eighth scale, and not to mention, um, it, it's a really good car. You could use 3S almost out of the box. You would have to change up the motor because it comes with a 240. I mean a 540. All you have to do is change it to a 550, and you'll be 3S all day. But you see how good this rolls, guys? Look at this. I could like swerve. Look at it. See that? The I could kind of move out of control and it doesn't want to flip over. Just the only thing, the tires will wear fast, you know? All right, going back up, back up. See, here we go. It's got enough power to play around right here. I mean, it's not the most powerful RC. But it is for the price. And it looks good. And the body is really good. They did a they gave you a good body on this. good car 
I know I keep saying that. Uh, this was like one of my second RCs that I purchased. Had this for quite some time and it, it's a really good car. I remember when I got it, uh, it was so fun. Um, I was so happy to have an actual hobby grade car. You know, even if it's not the best, at least I was able to use it, you know. And uh, break something and go and buy some parts right away, you know. So it doesn't even hop that much for being in the grass. But I think that's pretty much it with my lipo. I only use my lipos to 3.8, guys. And then uh, that's a wrap. I don't uh, use them till 3.2 or even. Man, that is a lot. chase the squirrel ah oh, man again hitting these potholes I'm gonna end up losing a clip nope no clips came off so that's pretty much the end of this one guys I'm gonna turn this little guy off and I'm gonna go down to Ross and Burlington to go see if I can find something to buy for the channel so stay tuned for that video guys thanks a lot for watching and stay tuned for the next video